morning, Wolfpack. Today is Thursday, January 12th. I am Malachi. And I'm Brady. We are bro broadcasting from the Wolfpack studios. We're here to give you all the important Chinook news. It's been a crazy week in the Pacific Northwest with all the snow and winter storms. At this point, we have received over 21 inches of snowfall, which is the second highest record amount. The record is 24.6 inches set in 1955. So far, Kennewick has piled up five snow days, which means an extra week of school in June. So enjoy this winter weather, but be safe. The Chinook Middle School ribbon cutting has been rescheduled to January 24th. No word on the canceled orchestra concert, concert which has been now postponed twice. With all of our attention to the wet, on the weather and school cancellations, we have not been able to truly celebrate our move to this new building. We are ob obviously very happy to be here. We sent Josh and Lizzie out with cameras to interview students about what they like most in the new school. And today's student sound off. Oh, I just love the building. It's great. I think it's great. I, I, I love everything. It's so new. Uh, I like the new cafeteria and gym. I'm liking this new school. Uh, I like how there's lockers on one side, on not on the other, so there is more space, so we could actually get to where we have to go without getting just squished around the I'm mom. Lily, and I'm Avery, and I like how the hallways are a lot bigger, and I like the lockers. Yeah. They're beautiful. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Bye. Amy. I approved this budget. You know. I like this school because it's very beautiful and it's just, it's so saucy, like the out, the trim, it's just, it's just so beautiful. The classrooms, the chairs, they're just so it's comfortable. Lockers with the old school, you couldn't fit anything in it. And yeah. I think it's pretty good and we finally have automatic flush toilets so those kids who forget to flush toilets, we won't have to see what happens. If you thought you missed out on a yearbook, here's your chance. The deadline has been extended to January 23rd, so don't miss out. The cost is $25 and can be purchased in the office. We will not be going outside during lunch today. Art Club will begin again Monday, January 23rd at 2.35 in room 216. Computer Club will meet today after school in Ms. Francis's room. Math Tutorial will also meet today at 2.40. 340. 6th grade will meet in room 19, 119, and grades 7th and 8th will, will meet in room 120. Both wrestling and girls basketball will have afternoon practice today. Did you know that we don't have school on Monday? That's right, it's Martin Luther King Day. In honor of Dr. King, here is a short video exclaiming why he was so important to our country. Once upon a time, there's a man named Martin Luther King Jr. It's funny to think about because now we know his name so well, but at one time, he was just a kid. Like, maybe you're a kid watching this. Well, he was a kid too. Well, maybe you're a grown-up. That's okay too. Former kids are welcome here. I don't discriminate. Martin Luther King grew up to be a great man, of course, but things weren't all that great in the world while he was growing up. Not everybody was treated like they were somebody. And I believe that you should treat everybody like it's their birthday. But they didn't do that. People looked at the color of their skin. And that's how they decided if they were friends or not. Not cool, man. That didn't make him feel good. That didn't make anybody feel good. But his parents helped him grow up. He went to church. He learned about love. He grew up to be a minister to help a lot of people. He did all sorts of cool stuff. He helped a lot of people learn about love, too. But still, he looked around and said, things should be better. He wanted to change things, so he did stuff. He decided instead of spreading the hate, he would spread the love. He wanted to bring people together. Where people were hurting, he stepped in to help. He marched with them, he walked with them. He walked arm in arm with everyone. Sometimes it didn't go well, but he kept going. Sometimes he ended up in prison, but he kept going. Some people didn't like him, but he kept going. Some days were hard, but he kept going. Love does that, it just keeps going, even when things are dark. And, well, I don't like this part of the story, but things did get pretty dark. Someone who didn't agree with him shot him. He died in April 1968. Now, keep, keep, keep pressing it. Why are you telling us this sad story? Come on. I know, I know. I'm sorry, but it happened. I don't like that it happened. Now, I got to tell you something. When things aren't awesome, it can be tough. And things will always be awesome. But your response can be. 
Martin Luther King's response? It was awesome. Today I just wanted us to think about this. Isn't it cool that we can change things? Like any of us, anybody. He dreamed and he changed things. And he dreamed and he kept sharing his dreams. They became not just his dream, a lot of people's dream. Like this one. I have a dream that little black boys and black girls will join hands with white boys and white girls and become sister and brothers. That's a pretty good dream. Let's dream like that. That could change things. Because of the late start, you'll, we will be on a very special schedule. You will go to every class, but they will be shorter. Your teachers will show you the schedule. For lunch today, spicy orange chicken. R remember, wolves, be your best and nothing less. Now it's time to stand and say the Pledge of Allegiance. of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.